how's it going guys it's white fox here and i know it's been a while since my last update but i thought it'd be a good time to show you guys my newest addition to my vita collection this stack here is from my old video and i want to show you guys my um additions to my collection all right so the first one is zero time dilemma i haven't finished it yet but i'm but I'm, I'm heading to that direction so we next we got lego Jurassic World Wipeout 2048 Little Big Planet Marvel Superhero Edition I have the other one the standard edition but thought this was a better one I don't because it comes with the Marvel Superhero skins this is from Europe, by the way, English version. So next we got God of War. I've been looking for this for a while now and I seen it on GameStop a few months ago, so I just had to get it. I just finished the first um, God of War. Gravity, Gravity Rush. Pretty good game. Alright, so next we got Borderlands 2. It's a really fun game. I just wish the frame rates would be a lot better. Because, I mean, it's good when it's running good, but every now and then you have those the issues with the frame rates. Next we got Akiba's Strip. Whatever. Undead and Undressed. Pretty good game. The story's a little weird. I mean, I've only done a few missions. It's a really fun game. I like the gameplay. But like I said, it's a little weird. Um, I guess you're fighting vampires or zombies, whatever they are. And basically, you just have to strip your clothes off and expose them to the sun. Um, highly recommend. Next, we got Final Fantasy X Next 2. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get X2 because the code was already used. But I'm halfway through the story and I must say it's pretty good. Once it's done, I'm gonna get um, X2. I don't know if it's. I don't know if I'm gonna get it physically or digitally, but I'll let you guys know when that happens. Next, we got the Nonary games. Honestly, on the Vita, my favorite ones is the Nonary um, games and the Zero Time Dilemma. These are probably like my favorite visual stories on the Vitas. Highly recommend this. I really do. You won't regret it. If you like visual novels, of course. Next, we got Most Wanted Need for Speed. Really good game, too. Probably the best racing game on the Vita. Well, for me, it's this and Wipeout. Here's another one. Wise um, Lacrimosa of Donna. Really, really good game. I haven't finished it, but I will soon. Next we got Dragon's Crown. Man, when when people say that the graphics or the art style of this game was amazing, I kind of, you know, I believed them, but I didn't think it was too much. I thought, I thought they kind of overdid it, but man, really awesome game. Love the story too. Next we got Mob Nation Racers Road Trip. Really good kart game. If you like Mario Kart, this is the game for you. That and uh, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform. Probably my, ra probably my favorite kart racing on the Vita. Next we got Virtual Tennis 4 War Star Edition. Really good game. And, that, and, and next we got Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. I'm halfway through Metal Gear Solid 2. I can't I can't wait to um, finish that just so I can go on and play Metal Gear Solid 3. Really good game. Um, and finally we got FIFA 15. Got the Chicharito art cover. This Mexican Spanish edition. 
And that's it guys. That has been my addition to my Vita collection. Um, probably won't be getting that much more anymore, but let me know in the comments and let me know which games I should get next. Um, I don't really have anything in mind right now, but just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. All right, so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for my next videos. I know, I know it's been a while, you know, but videos will be coming again. So please leave a like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys till next time. Peace.